This is CGTN, China Global Television Network. Well, turning to North Africa now, the families of over a thousand Tunisian irregular migrants who were reported missing turned up in protest near the foreign ministry in the capital city of Tunis. The mothers of the young undocumented migrants came from all across the country to demand information about the fate of their missing relatives. Awad of Dawdi lost contact with her son more than a year ago after he boarded a fishing vessel headed to the Italian shores. She claims that many irregular migrants who were on the same boat have shown signs of life. However, her son Hamdi is still missing. My son is a licensed boat mechanic. He's a fishing vessel crew member. Since July 25th, 2020, I have no information about his whereabouts or if he's dead or alive. His friends and crew reached Italy and were arrested in Lampedusa. They were jailed for two months with many regular migrants, including minors. They were released, but my son has vanished. In 2011, Latifa's brother attempted to cross the Mediterranean, but failed to reach the Italian island of Lampedusa. She believes that he's still alive in Libya. We are sure that our sons and brothers are alive. I watched a video of my brother in jail in Libya and a video of him disembarking at the port. An Italian journalist is willing to testify. I call on the Tunisian president to intervene and to help me bring back my brother and all those who disappeared recently or were reported missing, dead and even buried. President Qais Saied visited several ports from which irregular migrants departed this year. The head of state described the smugglers of migrants as dangerous sharks who are responsible for hundreds of deaths during failed irregular migration attempts. Today and yesterday, traffickers are pushing the poor and the impoverished people into the sea so that they are swallowed by fish. We'll face the real fish on the mainland and the human sharks who are even worse and deadlier than sea and ocean sharks. According to the Social Affairs Department, the number of the missing irregular migrants, including women and children, has increased since the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic in the North African country. The Tunisian Foreign Ministry announced that 57 young Tunisians who were held in a reception center for irregular migrants in Zawiya, Libya, were repatriated on Tuesday. They were arrested while trying to reach the Italian coast. Adnan Shawishi, CGTN, Tunis.